Hey everyone, welcome back to Fallout 4 after this little maintenance episode last time. Let's do something fun again. I still haven't cleaned out uh, the... What is it? The hospital? Right? But I guess that's, that's just fine. I have cleaned out the fraternal post, but we haven't had a huge look into this, so let's do that. Cleaned out means um, there shouldn't be any enemies remaining. So let's go there and, and, you know, see if that's true and then move from there. I have heard voices. I sure I, I'm sure I heard voices. There's other buildings in this direction. All right, let's have a look in there. We might hear voices when I come out again. Okay, let's see. Is that siren still going? I need to switch that off. That's hugely annoying. If that is, or did it belong to the, oh, it might have belonged to the music, ugh. They really did make it cozy here, didn't they? That was not so cozy. <laughs> Douchebags! I'm not sure what the teddy bear and the bloody... War. War never changes. Yeah, we know that. Let's take all of this stuff. There's a lot of ammunition here. These guys were preparing. Guns and bullets, ballistic weapons permanently do 5% critical damage. Nice. We switch that off for copyright reasons. That's right. I switched it off because it could be a copyright problem. Ugh. This place. Hello. Now, I need to check upstairs. If there is upstairs, somehow. Yeah, I think there was a stair. Yeah. Okay, let's go here. Cap stash. I'm not complaining about cap stashes. So, the V-Sync option changed something in the movement of the character. It is not ideal, but it'll have to do. I mean, this is way better than two minutes of loading time, don't you agree? Armor workbench, alright. Duct tape, thank you very much. That's what I need. More adhesives. All oh, right, there was another stairway. Okay, cool. So we really cl cleaned that place out. Just need to get some of the, you know, additional loot items out here. But I promised a more... Where's the fucking exit? There it is. I promised an episode with a little more action that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, if I find something. I've been there. There is a factory around the corner. So let's look at that. Around the corner-ish. Hmm. 
Hmm? Who does get distracted by collecting random shit? Oh, that's me, right. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Before we go in there, I'd like to do this. Let's do this. I have no idea what's waiting in there for me. I don't even... I don't remember having been at this place. Oh... Hello. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Um... Sure. Sure. I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Um... Yeah, let's Sounds go for that. Like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Wonderful. Uh, that's not an action episode, but this is fun. Find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. <laughs> All right, let's sit down. The genesis of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team. Is that just her or is the... Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Oh, there you go. Dirty ten suit. I'm just following her just to see if she, you know, releases any secrets. I could have explored this place myself. Nuka Cola? Of course. Restrooms? Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. Sure, let me dress uh, in my proper work attire. What did she get me? A dirty tan suit? Sure, let's do that. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. I am not sure. Please enter the clean room. Yeah, I better do a save, right? I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the piezonucleic lining project has been completed. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research assignment. Starting decontamination sequence. Contamination detected. Initiating decontamination. <laughs> That is not a decontamination. That's a contamination. Oh, because it's not a clean room. Yeah, I do that through this door. I think I just got myself locked in here. 
with a mandatory overtime? Let's see. Oh! Okay, so looks like we will have like one or two episodes here because I have no idea how to do this. Sounds a bit like a riddle mission. Do we have any opponents in there? Looks like there were schools. They also said I should... I should finish that research project. Okay. Let's see. Let's take it all. There's a skull. Oh boy. That... That was supposed to be on my level, wasn't it? Isotope sample insert. So let's do this. Oh, I need a, a radioactive. So that's chemical reagents. Um, uh, okay. So we, we will need to read up a lot on this. And I guess these guys are behind the store. Hello. I'm home. How about you guys? Oh, they're probably right above me. All right. Ready to do this. Oh, nothing happens. That's interesting. All right, all right, all right, I see you. Ooh, whoa, that's some ghouls here. No, 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 no. So much for overtime. <laughs> you guys, seriously now. Let's see how much more of this we get. You okay, dog meat? Yeah, that was a bit of a shock, bro. Uh, oh boy. So much loot. Look at this, a microscope. Here we have an unknown sample. Hazmat suit. And a red X. Bottle cap. Ah, oh boy. Dirty water. <laughs> I so need to clean this place out. Looks like some real high value loot. Hey. You had duct tape. That I take. Look at all this stuff. Another sample. So much glass and beakers. I can build a, a lab. Hello. That was not worth it. Here. How about we get a little bit closer and put this to your head. Shotgun. All right, all right, all right. So we get a little bit of action here. Another sample. I need to read up what these samples do. Okay, let's see. Uh, could this be it? Um, two. So, how about... 
interesting. This one. There we go. That was not too hard. Security door control. Ah, open the door. Which door is it though? Oh shoot. I'm not sure that was a good move. I'm not sure that was a good move. Was the door upstairs? Yeah, I guess so. Um. There's one downstairs. not here yet. We have an expert safe. Where's that fucker? More duct tape. I haven't given anything. Oh, that is an annoying sound. Let's see what we got. Being trapped in a lab. Isn't that like, you know, every scientist's dream? No, it's not. Spoiler alert. Good, give me some of this. Bunch. It's not. Relict. It cannot be this. It could be it. this. Oh, that was the safe control. Internal mail relay. Mandatory overtime. Good morning, everyone. I know you've all been overnight uh, here overnight. Everyone's tired, but I need everyone to push through just a little longer. Dr. Alfred Wulam has said that you are very close to cracking the problem with a nucleostrictive lining project, and I have a good feeling that today will be the day. Along with our normal snacks, I've sent a runner to Slocum's show for coffee and donuts. We'll be ordering spookies later this afternoon. I also just got off the phone with Colonel Kemp and he said uh, there may be some training exercise happening around town today. So if you hear what sounds like tanks or gunfire, don't panic, it's just a drill. Oh, is it now? <laughs> That's hilarious. Everyone needs to just calm down, yes. As you've heard by now, I've locked out, I've locked you out of the clean room, as my previous email stated. This push to finish the project is mandatory. As soon as I have the data for a successful prototype, I will unlock the doors and everyone will be free to go home. To address concerns about the noise outside, those are the military exercises I mentioned. I'm aware they're very loud and that some of you have been disturbed by it. I assure you everything is fine. Uh, though we are not openly at war with China, things are still tense and the military feels that our ground defense exercises are necessary for our safety. Finishing our project here isn't just... is just what? Vital to the company, but also helping to protect our country. Alright. So you're just the... Generic douchebag corporate tool. I didn't want to go there. Alright. Shit. Yeah, I see it. Oh, this is going to be fun. But you know what? We're going to do that next episode. Yep. I'm not... No, I'm not. I should probably wear a hazmat suit when I get closer to this. Ha! <laughs> Panic! That's some mantids. Can't take these. And obviously... I'm being very careful. Bone cutter. Interesting. I don't know why you would have something like... Oh. Shut up. Zombie guys, some more bottle caps, mantids, 
another microscope and a stim pack. Yes, please, stim pack. I will so need stim packs. I'm afraid to go in there, to be honest. <laughs> fusion cells, always nice. More fusion cells. Red poison. This guy. Oh! Here's the next sample. I just need to figure out how to put them together, I guess. Um, where does this go? Oh, that's the other way to escape the lab, I would say. Guys, I'm gonna make a break. I see you in two days to figure out how to kill that glowing sucker in there. But that's what we're gonna do. Alright, see you then. Until then, I'm Stodia. Bye.